Hi everyone, Neurodivergent Rebel here, and I am a late diagnosed autistic adult. I actually didn't know I was autistic until I was almost 30. And when I figured that out, it answered many questions I had about myself, life, and the world in general. Uh, and I started this blog because I really think that more autistic people need to share their experiences because until I heard another autistic person sharing about what it's like to be autistic, I thought I was completely alone and just a weirdo, basically. Um, I thought nobody in the entire world could relate to the experiences and feelings that I had. Um, as an autistic person, I feel like for me, you know, my sometimes my emotional response is more intense to certain situations. And, you know, people don't always respond well to me being overly emotional, and people expect me to get my emotions under control, but I am feeling very very intense emotions, so sometimes it's not that simple. You know, when I am happy, I am completely overjoyed, happy, and I flap and bounce and make little noises. I'm really joyful. And you know, if I get startled, you know, sometimes it may be a little thing that wouldn't startle most people, but I am literally like, my heart is jumping out of my chest. I feel like I'm going to throw up and my body is doing this. I'm sorry, I'm really scared. I can't help it. You know? But my whole life, you know, people call me things like immature and childish and spaz and all these horrible names. Because of my feelings, and the way I express myself, and the way I move. And so, you know, finally having that information, and, you know, knowing, oh, you know, this is, you're, you're autistic, and all of that is normal. It's a normal part of the autistic experience. Suddenly, it felt okay to be myself again. So, those are just my thoughts on why I think it is so important um, for autistic people to share their stories and their experiences. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, talk to you next week. Bye!